Naija, we can talk him for the way he paying me. We can talk him as we they talk him for house. I know say we they like to hustle. We like our money. We won't shine. But say he get some kind of shine where they bring shame. Say Nigeria they go beg every year. Na big shame. That na one kind of money we no want. In fact, money not even come. The money that they use and pay huge salary for Yubo people. They go pay some for Niger people. So would they use our name, take they sell ourselves outside shamefully, you know they won't do anything for us. Make we stop this one. It gets other ways where we feel make our money with pride. I'm a Nigerian who has worked in the humanitarian field for over a decade. I've always prided myself. My identity has always been as a Nigerian, as a proud one. I know begging has been, you know, part of the culture in some region, but it wasn't a national one. I'm truly embarrassed, distressed that my country, Nigeria, the potential giant of Africa, is one amongst countries that have been begging for aid internationally every year for the last five years. I am distressed and I will not rest until I call on Nigerians' attention to how disturbing and how it damages our image and how embarrassing it is for the country. This has been done quietly by some elements in government. Nigerians are not fully aware that their country has been begging every year for aid. We don't see it, we don't know what it's used for. Who is doing it? Who is leading it? Nigerians should be asking why Nigeria, the giant of Africa, is one amongst countries begging globally for food, for aid to feed its citizens. And who exactly are we feeding with this aid? Countless research has been done. Countless studies have been done. Countless statements have been made over the last 50 years that aid, humanitarian and development is holding Africa back. But it grows every year. It grows. And contrary to what some Africans have said, that the West is using it to hold us back, no. It is Africans who've become enablers. Africans are the ones who've put Africa out there and for perverse incentives are allowing aid in the continent at the detriment of the well-being of the continent. It has to end.